So, I had an experience recently that has really impacted me. And I'm just going to talk about it in this video and I was to talk about what I took away from it. So, I was going for a walk around, around Oxford. I can't remember what I was doing. And I walked past this uh, cafe. Um, and I saw this girl who was at the cafe just working on a laptop. And she was, I just saw her at like the corner of my eye. And she just looked incredibly beautiful. And, you know, I paused for a second. And I thought, you know what? Let's go over there and, you know, try and ask her a number, which is what I did. So, you know, I got the courage, walked over there. And uh, I said, like, oh, sorry to disturb you, you know. Uh, I just thought you were really pretty, you know, can I get, get your number? And she she sort of looked at me and was like, yeah, sure. Um, and we had a little chat, asked her what she was doing. Um, and then I walked away. As I walked away, I kind of stubbed my toe on the seat behind, which was a bit embarrassing. But um, apart from that, it was a very positive experience. I walked away feeling quite, quite good about myself. And... The reason I approached her was not because I thought I was going to go on a date with her, to be honest. I just thought it's a good habit to get into interacting with women as much as you can. And I think a big reason why young men are unhappy and like they're single, you know, they're not, and they're quite lonely, is because they just feel terrified about interacting with women. Um, and I think a lot of it goes into kind of, I mean, there's the whole, like, you know, worrying about being too forward with a girl and whatever, like, there's all that. I think there's also stuff about um, sense of shame. I think a lot of guys have a lot of shame about their attraction to women, and it comes out as shyness, but that's a whole other conversation. But anyway, I just thought it was a good habit to get into talking to girls, even if it didn't go anywhere, you know, and I wasn't really expecting it to go anywhere. For all I knew, she could have given me like a fake number. But on the front of it, I saw someone that I was attracted to and I was able to go over and talk to her. And that had a positive impact on my, on my, how I felt that day. But naturally, like, I got home that evening and I just thought, well, I might as well text her. Of course, of course like, you know, I might as well. And, um, you know, I've often thought, oh, let's play it really cool. Let's wait a bit before I text her. But for me, I just thought like, you know what? I like her. Let's just text her right, right away. So I think I just texted her like that evening. And um, we got talking for a bit and we were going to go on a date. And we went on a date um, pretty quickly, you know. There wasn't much like talking stage kind of thing. We just yeah, just, just she recommended like this bar that was really good to go to, or this pub rather, and yeah, it went 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 there, and had like it was a really nice evening, you know, um, and it was quite weird to actually like be on a date with a girl that I'd cold approached because like if you've done any cold approaching, you'll know that like. You, it's not always the case like you go on a date with a girl that you're you 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 call approach but yeah here I was you know talking to her um <clears throat> you know um things were going well um and we talked until quite late then we walked away you know she went back to her house I went back to mine um and I got back that evening and I just thought let's just keep this up, you know, like, why, let's keep up this positive momentum, and I just said to her, like, that evening, I was just like, it'd be great to see you again sometime, um, you know, it was nice to see you this evening, and again, she was like, yeah, it was nice, let's do it again, um, and <clears throat> then we agreed, agreed to see each other on the, on the weekend, and on the weekend, 
we yeah so the weekend came around and we went to this uh coffee shop in um in this place in oxford and it's funny there was something different about the vibe on the second date it's really hard to pinpoint what it was but that it's so funny I, I remember the first day there was a lot of electricity you know um there, there, there was some there was an atmosphere in the air which was quite promising but everything in the second day was just flat you know there was no kind of energy um no kind of vibe and it all felt it started to feel a bit kind of macy a bit kind of friendly you know um a bit, it was a bit kind of boring you know um but anyway we still had a nice time and um we chatted for a bit and then she said she had to get back because she was studying for this um this exam So, you know, we said our goodbyes, whatever, and left. Um, and then I walked away and I thought, I'm not sure if I'm going to see her again. You know, that there was just something off about the second date that I just couldn't describe. Um, and... Um, But anyway, I decided to text her anyway, like, I think it was like a day later I sent her a text. Just heard nothing back from her. And it's so weird because, you know, it would only been like two days. But it's weird, like, when you decide to, once you get that first good feeling, like, it's very hard to stop, you know. Once you have, like, that first good interaction on a date or something, it's... It's very hard to stop, like, feelings, you know, stop the feeling of getting attract attracted to her, getting attached. Um, and, you know, even despite it only being, like, one date, you know, I still... I'm not going to lie, it hurt. It hurt to not hear back from her. And... Yeah, I just reminded me of like times in the past where I've been sort of uh, had that feeling of like heartbreak. I wouldn't sure, I'm not sure if I'd call it that, but you know, it did feel very strong. You know, I remember when I was like like 18, like 17, I like breaking up with my first girlfriends. Um, and it was just the same level of pain, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there's just some, I forgot how painful it feels to be rejected by someone. And like, you know, it's one thing to be rejected of like straight away on like a cold approach, but to be rejected after like investing in someone emotionally, it's incredibly painful. Um, like I wasn't eating very well, couldn't sleep, <laughs> you know, um, felt sick felt physically sick. Um, and so in a sense, like, this is all quite a negative experience. You know, um, despite the positive beginning, you know, ultimately nothing changed. And I went through quite a painful experience. Um, but there is just, I have to look at it in a positive light. There is actually a lot that is positive about it without coping, you know. Um, I'm generally like, uh, just by the way, I generally don't think like positive thinking is like really works for me. Like I, I've sometimes tried to like sit there and just write down positive things with the, about a negative situation. And, you know, maybe it has some benefit, but it doesn't really, I don't really derive that much from it. Um, but I do think in this situation, there are positives. And the positive is like, I remember thinking this like um, about my dating life in the past. It's just, I, not even like I don't even want like a girlfriend I just want to have like to go on dates with girls that I'm attracted to uh, that is that's the start you know that's really 
that seems to be the thing like early like earlier on in my life that seems to be the thing that, that I've been more like wanting to do is not even like oh I have a romantic partner or whatever but more just like I'm heading in that direction you know like I'm having those experiences of like going on dates and you know meeting girls that I'm like not just that but like I, I really like I really see a future with like regardless of whether it works out or not you know and it's just nice that I'm in the midst of that now you know that I have managed to solve this part of my life you know like I'm able to go on dates with girls you know quite regularly but not just that but like the girls that I'm really interested in you know like I remember when I was in London and like I was using Hinge and stuff and like you know I, I still have I still do think dating apps are, are good to use but I was in London before and I was going on Hinge but I was these dates that I was going on like I just generally had like very low compatibility with the girls like um I was seeing I think that's the big downside of, of Hinge is like you, you just end you can just pay with people that like you don't share that much in common with or you're not actually that interested in um so like, I was going on these dates but they weren't really like they didn't really feel like dates a lot of the time they just felt like so like meeting up with like someone who could be a friend this kind of thing um but it's but like where I am now you know this past few weeks it's like it's not like that you know like they are genuine they feel like dates um and that's a good feeling you know and I have to remember that you know to get it in perspective that's a good thing um and the other good thing is I remember trying to journal a lot about like past experiences and part of that was because like, I wanted to just feel that feeling of heartbreak again like, this might sound really weird but I do think it's really important to feel that feeling of heartbreak you get and I think a lot of us in the past like we just haven't really um we just repress that feeling because it is quite a physical feeling in the body you know and it's very easy to just repress that um and not feel it and not learn from it um but i think it's good that i'm opening myself up to experiences where i am feeling heartbreak again you know um like i think it's a good thing to feel to be honest um and it's nice to be back in touch with it you know it's been a while um so you know you might see these positives and think oh it's a bit silly whatever um but i do genuinely think like these are promising signs about where my life's going um and maybe if you're like in a similar position you know um you're you can relate to this like you this maybe encourages you or you know something i've said like makes sense of of what other experiences um you've had um so yeah i hope this has been of some help um and i mean it's funny in the end like i just decided to block the girl because I, I was just like i just saw her, you, you, you know when you keep seeing her not name on your phone and i was just like i'm just gonna block her like <laughs> which may be immature i don't know but um I think someone's just got to clear your heads, you know. Um, so, anyway, that's the video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.